morning, everyone. This is Pastor Paul Graham, Senior Pastor of Restoration Praise Center, and I'm your host on Bible Boot Camp. And I'd like to welcome you to our sixth day of Bible Boot Camp. We are now in our sixth day of Bible Boot Camp, and we are ready to go. We're so excited about having this opportunity to wake up and be a part of this spiritual, spiritual experience. So right now, let's get ready to invite God into our homes, into wherever we are, because right now we're ready to give our lives over to him today. So welcome to another day of Bible Boot Camp. So we just want to invite everyone again to our sixth day of Bible boot camp. We believe that uh, mornings are better when you talk to God first. We believe that, that mornings are better when you talk to God first. And so this morning, we're inviting everyone to be a part of this worship experience because we do believe that God wants to do something special in your life and that we all can be exactly where God needs us to be. So let's bow our heads together as we look to him in prayer. So, Father, we come before you thanking you for all that you've done. We thank you for life and strength and this opportunity of worship and praise. This morning, we're asking you, Lord, to be with us and to send us your Holy Spirit as we look to be the catalyst that you've asked us to be. We want to be a catalyst for you. So we're asking now that your Holy Spirit would rest and abide with us this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. And the Word tells us, the Word tells us in this, that we that we have this opportunity to spend this time with him and today i can't wait to talk about being able to rely on god through his word i want to just invite uh everyone to uh, have the opportunity to go to our app to go to our app on full circle ministries app on all platforms so you have that opportunity to watch online or to uh, buy your app so you can watch uh, Bible Boot Camp live or anything that we do live. And so in this, we invite you to download our app at Full Circle Ministries. And we want to thank also Praise Vision for powering us up this morning. We believe that when you do something for God through technology, we can reach so many more people. And so today we welcome you again to our sixth day of Bible Boot Camp. I want to share this with you. It's a beautiful, beautiful depiction of a journey that I believe that we all are on. So as we look at this, let's gain an understanding that God wants us to be on this journey with him. Let's look at this together.
just want everybody to know that you can hang in there. Just hang in there. God is with us on our journey. He's never going to leave us nor forsake us. And I know that this journey is rough. And I know that this journey can be tough. But we have a God that's going to be with us on this journey. Have you ever felt alone on this journey? Ever felt like some uh, that God wasn't with you or that you had a difficult time uh, just just going through life? I need you to know right now that the the times when you are feeling like you're by yourself, that God is still with you and he's not going to leave you. That's the kind of God that we serve. The kind of God that's going to walk with us, that's going to stick with us, that's going to be with us no matter what. And so let's hold on to him who's the author and finisher of our faith. As I look at this word catalyst, I recognize and know that uh, that God is able, that God is able to help each one of us be the catalyst. He wants us to be a catalyst, a strong catalyst for him. Because we've got to ask the question, if we're not a catalyst for God, then who are we a catalyst for? Wow. If we're not a catalyst for God, then who are we a catalyst for? Because you can either be for Christ or Satan. You can either be up or down. You can either go left or right. Is either heaven or hell. Is Christ or Satan. And so when we walk today and when we live our lives out the way we need to live our lives out today, the truth of the matter is, who are we a catalyst for? You know, when we look at this, uh, this meaning or this definition of a catalyst, we have to ask ourselves the question. If we're going to be a catalyst, then uh, how are people going to react to us? Are, are we going to precipitate Christ's love or are we going to precipitate what Satan wants from us? So what kind of stimulus are you going to be today? God wants us to be the kind of individuals that as we live out our lives, we're going to be living out our lives in such a way that others will see Christ in us. That's what we want, for others to see Christ in us. So we need to be molded in a different way. We need to be made in a different way. Or we need to take our hand, uh, ourselves out of another person's hands and put our hands in the potter's hands. There's a beautiful song I want to share with you about the potter and the clay. Uh, and, and as you listen to this song, ask yourself the question, whose hands do I want to be with? Because after this, I want to talk a little bit about a good and loving God who is able to keep us from falling. Let's look at this together. Empty and broken I came back to Him A vessel So scarred with sin, but he did not despair. He started over again, and I bless the day he didn't throw the clay away. Over and over. Vessel of honor, 
I want to thank God that he didn't throw the clay away. You know, I can tell you right now that there are things in our lives that we've done and there are ways that we have gone where God could have said, I'm going to, I'm going to throw this one away. I'm gone. I'm done. But his grace is sufficient. He loves us no matter what. And he wants us to continue to be the Christians that we can be. And he will take care of the rest. I want to thank God for being the kind of God that loves us no matter what. I want to thank God for loving us even though, even though we have made the mistakes over and over again. He molds us until that day of perfection. And so I want to share this text with you this morning, a text that's going to uh, carry you along the way, a text that's going to uh, bring you through the day, a text that I hopefully will help you to be the catalyst that God wants you to be. Because I believe that each one of you can be the catalyst that God wants you to be. Number one, we looked and saw that you're on a journey and God wants you to be on that journey with him. And then we look and we find also that God is the kind of God that can help us uh, even though we are, we walk away, we do our own thing. God is still the one that is still molding us and making us. We're not finished products yet. Come on now. We are in process. Do you believe we're in process? God is not finished with us yet. And in light of this, I want to share this word with you. So Father, again, as we look at this word, we're asking for the Holy Spirit to help us to be the catalyst because of this word. In Jesus' name, amen. I want you to look at this text. It's an awesome text. It's a text uh, that comes to us from Jude chapter 1, of course, verse 24. Jude chapter 1, verse 24. It says, Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. With exceeding joy. Wow, when I look at this, I'm recognizing who's the one that can keep us from falling, the one that can help us to be the catalyst, that to help others to keep from falling. I'm recognizing that sometimes we feel we can't be a catalyst because we look at the life that we live, we look at the times we've messed up, we look over and over again and say, I am not able. And I want you to know that you better believe it. You are not able. Remember what we looked at earlier today concerning the journey, that the journey that you're on God is with you on that journey because we're not able. All we do is mess up over and over again. That's what we do. But God is going to help us that as we continue to walk with him, he's molding us in the meantime. Remember where our strength comes from. The word tells us, now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. I need you to know that God is the one that's going to help us to make it and to keep us from falling. So when you look at your day today, you have to realize that we start our day with him. We continue our day with him. We end our day with him. In the middle of our days and throughout our day, we're going to be tempted to do wrong. We're going to be tempted to fall. We're going to be tempted not to be the catalyst that God wants us to be. But we've got to look to him. The word... The word tells us again, not now unto him who's able to keep us from falling, not to everyone else, not to your friends and not to the church or not to your pastors or not to your teachers is up to him. So the question is, who are we relying on? Who is the one that's going to help us to be who's going to help us along the way? And that only one that's going to help us along the way is Christ. You see, today is the day that God needs for you to be stronger than you've ever been. Today is the day that God is going to that God is going to want you to be that catalyst. He's going to put you in the way of someone so that you can glorify him. But remember now, anytime we make these mistakes and others see, it causes individuals to see God in a different light sometimes. So today is your day to walk with him, to journey with him who can keep you from falling. I want you to look at this text again. Now unto him, that means you got to rely on God that is able. That means he's the one that has the strength to keep you from falling. That means you can keep on walking and to present you faultless. That means if he's going to present you faultless, that means he's going to show you off 
before others. Come on now. He's going to show you off before others. He's going to present you faultless. Watch this now. Before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, which means when you become that catalyst, he gets the glory and he gets to show you off. I don't know how you feel about that, but I know this this much that this morning is going to be a great morning. Today is going to be a great day. Today, we're going to follow in his footsteps. Today, we're going to be that catalyst. Today, we're going to put our hands in his hands because we believe that he is the one that's going to keep us from falling. He is the one that's going to help us to be the catalyst that we all need to, that we need to be. Remember what we said uh, yesterday. What we said yesterday that God's got our issues. He's handling it. He's handling it. So don't worry about it. God's got us. So this very morning, I want to make sure that in order to start this day out, you're being prayed for and that you are praying and that you're relying on God through prayer and that you are looking to him who's going to help you be that individual that you need to be today. So this morning, I want you to be strengthened. This morning, I want you to be strong. But more than this, now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. If he is presenting you with joy, then we ought to be a people of joy. Let's pray together. But right now, I want you to write down your prayer request. Come on, write down your prayer request. If you're on Periscope, uh, you can all also go to our our app you can also go to our app on full circle ministries you can go to our uh, full circle tv on pastorpaulgram.com you can email us at fcmbootcamp at gmail.com that's fcm full circle ministries bootcamp at gmail.com you can go to our app and go to the pray button and press that pray button and leave your prayer request right there you can leave it for us simply because we want to pray for you and I'm going to tell you some of the reasons why we are not where we need to be is because we're not praying. We're not praying the way we ought to be. We're not focused the way we ought to be focused because we're not keeping our minds on him. So today, we want to strengthen each one of you. We want to help you on this journey in prayer. So right now, let's write out our prayer request as we look to God, who's the author and finisher of our faith. So today I want to pray for each one of you. Continue to write your prayer requests out. Continue to write your prayer requests out. In the meantime, I'm going to ask you, if you uh, take this opportunity, if you take this opportunity to uh, uh, write down your prayer requests, even on our app, if you download our app on Full Circle Ministries, you can be able to send your prayer requests through our prayer tab, through our prayer tab. And so in this light, we want to make sure that we all have that opportunity of sending our prayer requests at any time. In this, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for each one of you. So let's take this time to be in prayer. Father, again, we come before you, first of all, thanking you for being a great God to us, an awesome God to us, where we can come before you and we can look to you who can help us to be the catalyst that we need to be. Father God, we come before you because we know we have no one else to turn to. We've been looking everywhere else and we have not found what we're looking for. But now, Lord, we're saying to you that we're grateful that you're with us on this journey. 
I'm asking now that you accept our thanksgiving. Please, Lord, accept our thanksgiving that for that you have that you woke us up this morning and gave us that opportunity to be a part of this worship experience. Today, we're asking in a special way that you give strength and grace and discipline for uh, a church family. We're asking in a special way that you continue to mold us. We're asking in a special way that God will get the glory on someone's job today. Paula says she's thanking you for her new day, Lord, and asking to lead her in the right path. Madi says that she's asking for prayer for her sister, school, peace of mind, family members, and strength. Um, uh, Vivia is asking that you, Lord, will keep her strong, that she can be a catalyst for you, Lord. We're asking this, Lord, because we simply believe that we need to pray big. We need to look to you, Lord, because you are the only one that can help us in our walk today. But we also recognize through your word that you're telling us that we need to rely on you. We need to rely on you, Lord, because we, we need you in our lives to help us, to keep us from falling. And if we're going to be the catalyst, Lord, we want to be individuals that will help others because your strength has made perfect in us. I'm asking, Lord, right now that you help us to be a true catalyst, that you help us to be an example wherever we are on our jobs, wherever we are. We asking you to help us to be the Christians that we ought to be. We recognize time after time again that you are the kind of God who is able to not only keep us from falling, but to keep us on this track, on this journey. So I'm asking you now, Lord, that you'll continue to rest and abide with us. Lord, help us to be strong individuals. Help us to be the people that you want us to be. Help us to walk circumspect with you, Lord. And help us to know that with, with our lives in your hands, we are safe because the potter, you're the potter, and you have us molding us day after day, moment by moment, time after time. Can you just forgive us of our sins, Lord? Cleanse us this morning. Giving us, giving us a double portion of your Holy Spirit, Lord, we are grateful and thankful that you've given us this time. Today, Lord, we're asking you to help us to walk with you. Help us to be exactly who we need to be and help us to keep on praying. We're asking now for a double portion of your Holy Spirit today that you will help us not to fall so we'll depend on you, the one who is able. Bless us and be with us this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. And so today, we want to thank you for joining us on our sixth day of Bible Boot Camp. We're in our sixth day of Bible Boot Camp, and we are asking God to walk with us today. Today, I'm going to ask you, if you have uh, any issues, put it in God's hands, because the picture of the day or the uh, or the or the uh, picture to share today is simply that God is able. I believe that God is able. Do you believe that God is able? God is able. He's able to carry us through. He is the one that's going to take care of us and walk with us today. So today, I'm asking each one of you to remember who is able to keep us from falling, who's able to be with us, who's able to bless us, who's able to mold us. It's nobody but God. And so today I'm asking that you'll take this moment to be the catalyst that God wants you to be. Thank you for joining us on this sixth day of Bible Boot Camp. Share this with someone. Go back to our page today and share it with someone. But more than this, be the kind of individual that's going to be a catalyst for someone else. Let's walk with God. Let's be with him. And let's know that God is strengthening us this morning to be a catalyst.